and welcome to my kitchen. So I've been making videos for like seven months now and I just realized I've never told you how I organize my kitchen. My kitchen is probably the most utilized part of my entire apartment. I cook myself meals every single day. I love cooking, I love eating in. You have to be able to stay organized. My kitchen is super small. Those are two cabinets, these are two cabinets, a drawer, two cabinets here, and under my sink. Wow, that's literally it. I have it all in this camera view. That's pretty impressive, but that's everything. That's like not a lot of space. For somebody who likes cooking so much, like I use a lot of cooking tools and different utensils and having such limited space can make it really challenging. I've had to learn different ways to adapt with that and different tools that I can use for multiple reasons. Today I just wanted to take you through, show you how I organize my kitchen and keep it neat and what my system is so that way I'm able to know exactly where everything is and I'm able to have all of the kitchen stuff that I want to have in my apartment. Right here is my speaker. I have this lamp here, which is great for when we have dinner because my dining table is right here. I have my tray that I sometimes use for coffee and whatnot in the morning. And then I have my multivitamins and my probiotic. I actually really like this. I got it from like Home Goods or Marshalls or something. It's copper and it just holds all of my utensils, all of these came from Ikea. People talk badly about Ikea's quality, but honestly, these have been amazing and they were super cheap and they just like take care of everything that I could possibly need them to. Over on this side in the corner here, bag of onions, I use onions and everything. I have this copper strainer that I got from a thrift store. Definitely a little rough looking, but I love it. And I just store like potatoes and different things in there. This one is also from Home Goods, and this holds all of my fruit. So I have a cantaloupe and some oranges and grapefruit. And then I just have a spaghetti squash because Girl loves spaghetti squash. And then back in that corner, Alex actually bought me this spice rack, so that's really great. It has all the things I need in there, so I use that spice rack all the time. I have this like, marble paper towel holder that I got from a thrift store for like a dollar, but I love it, so that looks right there. I have a double sink, which I really, really love having. I keep my dish soap in this thing. I just think it looks a lot nicer. I have my brush, my sponge, my hand soap. I really love this J.R. Watkins hand soap. It smells really clean. Up on my windowsill, this kind of changes, but right now I have flowers from Valentine's Day. I wish my Instapot didn't have to live on the counter, but unfortunately there's literally just nowhere else I can put it. Because And then I have my kettle because I drink tea like a crazy person. I have my French press for my coffee because I do make coffee just about every morning. And I found that the French press was actually so much easier and took up so much less space than like a Keurig or a coffee pot because regardless, I'm still gonna have my kettle for tea. Having this to be able to make coffee for just Alex and I has been like perfect. In this one drawer, I have a couple of different dividers. First one, I have this plastic divider. This one came from Ikea. I think it's actually like $1.50 or something, but that's been working great. And in it holds my knives and forks. Look at how pretty the silverware is. I got it from Target. It was super cheap, but I absolutely am obsessed with my gold silverware. This one is also from Ikea. They have this in this style too, and I kind of wish I got it, but I got this one later. So, oops, oh well. This holds all my knives. I just have the Ikea set of knives. And then I have, these are really, really good quality too. This is another holder. This is from Ikea. This one has been crucial. It holds my measuring cups at the bottom and then it's the perfect size to hold the cling wrap and my aluminum foil. Up top, I have my odd utensils. So there's like my kitchen scissors, my citrus squeezer, my egg slicer, my wine bottle opener, can opener, and my zoodle maker. That's it. In these cabinets, here are my plates. I have four big plates. I have four small plates and then I have four bowls. I have these little sets of ramekins and then I have our mug. We just have two different sets. They're both a pink and a gray, but these ones are really big. So I use these ones for tea and these ones are a little smaller. So I use these for coffee because I do try and watch my coffee intake. Over here I have our cups. We just got these ones from Ikea. These ones are great too. They're really heavy and sturdy and they came in a pack of six. Up here I have all of my jars and my dried goods and I have my wine glasses. In here I have my oatmeal for if I make overnight oats. This is almond flour and I just have these cute little labels on them too. I wish you could just ignore this area but this is kind of Alex's stuff. So there's like the Triscuits are his. I won't eat those. There's tortilla chips that aren't mine, macaroni and cheese, and then just like a cluster of Tupperware. In the cabinets over here on this bottom shelf. It's my primary use shelf. Over here I have all of my teas. I have spices and cooking oils on this side. And then up top I have coffee, coconut milk, and tuna, and lentils. Those are just random dried goods. Way up top, that one's kind of really hard to get to. And so there's just some things up there that like I very rarely eat. So when I was organizing my kitchen, this section was definitely the hardest place to figure out how to organize because all of the things in it are a lot bigger. They just don't fit well. I don't have a good spot for some of my bigger items. Okay, on this top shelf I have my Dutch oven. I use this a lot for like soups and curries and things and then I have my glass Tupperwares and um, the other ones are being used which is why they're not 
in here right now. And then back there I have my big salad bowl and then I have a strainer and I just have a water bottle and I have this silicone strainer, which this one's super handy because it doesn't take up any space, but I use this strainer all the time. Down below I just have these pots and these pans. I just have two pots and two pans and some lid and then I have a cheese grater. I use that more on vegetables. I don't really eat a lot of cheese. And then I have my cutting board, which I just slide to the side. And that is everything that lives in these shelves. So I hope this was helpful. I thought it would be useful for you guys to see what the struggle was like. I love my kitchen. I love cooking in it. That's all there is. Like there's not any more space. I don't have any pantries. I don't have any shelves outside of that. It's a little tight. It's a little small. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any advice or any video recommendations, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit the big red subscribe button. I post videos on tips, tricks, and organization for living in a studio apartment, and I would love to be able to teach you anything I've learned along the way. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.